Hi everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in this video we're going to be doing another world coin hunt. We are back to the tub. It feels like ages since we've last done a, uh, a sort of a tub hunt. Uh, but we are back on the tub today. We're going to be sorting through looking to sort of fill up the empty slots in our date runs um, as well as sort of looking for any new countries or interesting coins. But before we get to the hunt, just wanted to say, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. Obviously, I am really, really pushing to try and get the channel up to a thousand subscribers. At the time of recording this, which is the beginning part of the week, I think I'm on uh, 793. So 200, sort of near enough 200 to go, and then I'd have hit the thousand subscriber target. Uh, also, don't forget to check out my Patreon and Teesprings pages. Links to them will be in the description down below. And yet, yeah, with all that said, let's crack on and have a look see what we can find. So, the first one we've got is absolutely tiny. Uh, so, it is... A 1976 Trinidad and Tobago, 10 cents. So that is absolutely tiny. So if I grab a 5p with comparison, even smaller than a 5p. Oh, would help if I got it in frame. Even smaller than a 5p. That's how small it is, and obviously thickness of it so it is a really small coin but that is a nice one that might even be a new one but a nice one to get us started and then the next one we've got is five francs from 1949 and that one actually has the B mint mark down the bottom as well. That's the letter B, not the animal. So obviously that's French. And it is actually aluminium as well. So it's a pretty big coin, but doesn't weigh next to anything. Next we have uh, so that's Elizabeth for second. I'm gonna hazard a guess before I flip it over. Is it Canada? Well that was a pure guess, but yep. <laughs> so 1975, one cent. Very nice. Do like finding the Canadian coins. And then we've got a 10 centines from 1963. So French, but hopefully it's a new year. I'm not too sure it is. I think we've got the 63. I think we've got a couple of the early sort of 60 years. And then the next one we've got is Yugoslavia. So I think that's the right way up. That isn't. <laughs> so uh, Yugoslavia is. I can't actually remember. I can't remember what denomination that is, but it's 50 something. And the year is 1955. So that might be a new coin. Very nice. And then, oh, that's seen better days, but that is five cent, and that is from Cyprus, I believe. Yep, 19... 
but it is not in great condition at all. That one won't. I'm hoping that we've got that year, but to make it honest, it probably won't go into my collection. Next one we've got is a US one cent, and that is a 1992D. So that will be the Lincoln Memorial. Very nice. Obviously, I am trying to sort of put a date to day run together of um, the US one cent. Next we have one Gordon from the Netherlands, I think, or is it one Grosh? Uh, it might actually be one Grosh from Netherlands, 1970. And we have, uh, is it Taiwan? Uh, Thailand? Thailand. Yes, one Thai Bart. And the year will be just up the top here. I cannot tell you what it is. And that is something that I'm gonna have to have a look at after the video. But it will be up in the annotations, just in the top corner. But yeah, we've got a couple of them, but not one we've, we've haven't had one in sort of quite a while now, actually. And the next one we've got is a George the Sixth. Nineteen fifty, ten cents from. Malaya. Wow. That might actually be a new country. I'm not too sure, but that is an absolutely brilliant find. Without if I get it up the right way. So, as per normal, keep your eye on the annotations, and that will tell you sort of as to it whether it's a, a new country, new coin. It would definitely be a new coin. It might even be a new country. And we've got our next US one cent. And that is a 1976. Very nice, and that's in really good condition. You look at the quality of the coin. Absolutely brilliant. And we've got a, another one from the Netherlands. This time it is 25 cent from 1968. Let's have a look where it's from. 1966. I have got no clue. So it doesn't look like Greek. I haven't got a clue on that one. I am going to have to defer that one to the annotations. 
but it is a really really nice coin and it's definitely a new coin because I don't think I've seen this one before so really chuffed with that one and we've got another US one cent this time it is a 1994D very nice another one that's in really good condition and we've got a one peseta not in great condition it is uh, an aluminium as well so that would be from Spain oh wow it gets worse as you flip it over and that is, is that 1989? 1988, it looks like from here. Yeah, 1988. But not in the best condition, unfortunately. And we've got another Elizabeth a second and I know that this is going to be another Canadian there you go oh there you go Canadian one cent from I don't know if we can see the year on it Nineteen fifty two to two thousand and two. Yeah, I think that's the date on it, it's two thousand and two. Looks like it's a commemorative issue. The fact that it's dual dated. So that's a unique one. Oh, I will get this one right in a minute. Very nice. MPP, it's going to be a token, isn't it? Yep. Very nice. So I do all of the tokens that I do find, I do keep. So that will be another new one to add to the set. got uh, Hungary is it yeah I think it's Hungary 1972 one Maraca yeah, I'm pretty sure that is Hungary yes I'm gonna sound confident it's Hungary <laughs> just like me I'm very hungry We go we've got our first Italian for the hunt so that is a hundred lira from 1976 and we've got another US one cent this time it is 2006D. And that is an Austrian. Ten Groschen from 1972. So another aluminium. So we've had quite a few uh, aluminium coins in this hunt. So what are we 
we have one, two, three. Yeah, definitely more than normal. And looks like another Thailand. Yep, it is another one Thai bar. Obviously, once again, the date is just up the top there, so as I can't read it, I will set the date out in the annotations. And we've got a 1960. Oh. It looks familiar, but I have not got a clue. <laughs> I am going to have to, once again, refer to the annotations on this one. But once again, it is another aluminium coin. So it seems that all the aluminium coins have been sort of sinking to the bottom. But I don't think it's a new country. I recognise the design. So we will find out. And we've got a 1973 Swiss 50 ore. Very nice. Don't get too many of them. If I know we've definitely had them. I think we've only had sort of one or two. And we've got another Italian. This time it is 200 lira from 1979. That's quite a common year. We do tend to find that one quite a bit. But even still, yeah, I do like the sort of cog design. Every time I see it, um, some of you may not know, but there's a game called Fallout. And in that game, there's uh, sort of basically underground vaults and they're sealed with a big door that looks like that and every time I see these that's what I think of and we've got another French this time it is one franc from 1969 Pretty good condition, apart from a little splodge just there. Very nice. And we've got another US one cent. This time it is a 1994D. Once again, it is the Lincoln Memorial. So hopefully, some of the ones we've got, we've got quite a, quite a few of the, so that's our fifth US one cent for the hunt. So hopefully a couple of them will be new. And we've got a very, very rusty, it's 10, uh, I think that's hungry again, isn't it? 1982, uh, Helvetica. Um, I think it's hungry. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say hungry, but I think I'm wrong. So follow the annotations, and I believe it is 10 francs. Uh, is it Switzerland? 
it's something like that. Oh, yeah. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna refer to the annotations on that one. And we've got a five pesetas. No, I thought it was my our first Spanish for the hunt, but it's not. So you'll see there that it's got a little mint mark. So that means that 1984 was the actual year of mintage. So with these, you've got a lot of the time you get an obverse date, and then you get a little date in a star. The date in the star is the year of mintage, um, and the obverse date is, I believe it's something to do with the, when the sort of design was put together for the, for the obverse of the coin. Um, I need to really look into it, I'm not too sure on what the obverse date actually means. But, another nice find, hopefully it's a new one for the album, but I don't think it is. And we've got another one franc, but this time it is 1978. So obviously French again. So what we'll do is we'll do one more and then we'll wrap the video up there just so it don't run on for too long. Finish on a 1994 quarter dollar from the US. Very nice. We don't see too many of the quarters in the world coin hunts. Well, not at the moment, anyway. So, yeah, really, really nice find there. Shame it wasn't a uh, state quarter that we needed for the album. But a really nice one to end us on. So, star pool for today. It's a choice between three. Um, I am gonna say, oh no, I forgot about one. No, I'm gonna go for that one. Absolutely stunning. I am gonna settle for that one. <laughs> yeah, really like that one. That pipped it over the other three, and the other three were going to be these ones. <laughs> but, so as I say, that's going to be the end of today's hunt. Uh, once again, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon and Teesprings page. The links are in the description below. And yeah, you can also follow me on social media. I always I keep forgetting that one lately. So I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are all in the description below. And with that said, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's hunt. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. All right, bye.